This month was awesome. So awesome. In fact, we had $500 left over at the end of the month to put to debt. Hey, I'm Wendy Valencia. My husband, Mauricio, and I are on the Dave Ramsey plan to pay off more than $300,000. Yep, that's a lot of debt. We have been on this process for almost two years now, and in that time, we paid off $140,000. We still have more than $160 left to go, so if you want to follow along, make sure you click that big old red subscribe button down below. Today, we we're talking about last month's budget and how we did. And I'm super excited because we pretty much killed it this month. Not only did we stay on budget super well, but we didn't really use our cushion very much and I didn't buy anything on Amazon. Except for Easter stuff, the studio light bulbs and yogurt stuff, but I'll talk about that in a minute. Okay, so maybe I did spend a little bit of money on Amazon. So let's jump on in. Our first category is utilities. And in utilities, we spent $189.05 for our cell phone plan and $270 for our storage unit. If you don't know why we have a storage unit, I'm gonna go ahead and link that up in the eye in the sky because whenever I forget to link it, people ask. It's a thing. In transportation, we spent $32.24 for gas and we bought windshield wipers. The windshield wipers cost $39-ish, but they haven't actually crossed every dollar yet. So if they cross the next 24 hours, then they'll go in this month's month's budget, which I expect they will. But if not, you'll see them in next month's budget and right at the beginning of the month. And the easy pass we did not use, but we kept it in the budget because I don't want to get blindsided. In the insurance and tax, we had our USAA insurance plans, that's car and renter's insurance. They were 176.56, but as you can see, I put them as zero because I just track them in every dollar. They don't actually cross our every dollar budget. The USAA life insurance is the same situation and that was 91.65. And then the CMFG insurance was $12. Mauricio's life insurance was $35.83. And our CPA, we submitted our taxes and that was $519.95. And in the Molina category, we had $590 for before and after care for Molina, $40 for Melina's school bucks, which is her lunches at school and breakfast at school, should she be hungry and choose to eat them. Usually she eats breakfast at home and gets sent to school with lunch, but every once in a while she goes into school and especially when she's in a growth spurt, she's hungry constantly. So we like to keep that money in there and then we let her buy one lunch a week in the cafeteria. We had initially $20 in the budget for miscellany expenses. And we did not use that, but we did buy Metley's school yearbook for $25. We bought $63.30 worth of Easter basket stuff. And it was just little stuff like squishies and two different kinds of sidewalk chalk. And what did we buy? I feel like I should know this. So Melina is a little budding fashionista and has started designing her own clothes like this shirt she designed with painter's tape and just regular paint and she looked so adorable and so i found this app through crayola where you can design clothes and then you upload a picture of it and it animates the clothes on a model walking down the runway it looks super cute i know melina will love it and then 20 dollars of that was for cascarones if you saw my video last year i went to a friend's house and they had these things called cascarones and they're basically old eggshells filled with confetti and you break them over people's heads at Easter time and it was so much fun. We decided that we were making that a tradition and so I got three dozen of those. Only one dozen for us and then I got a dozen for my brother's boys. Those were pricey. That was like 20 bucks. For spring break, Melina was in ice skating camp and so we got her a helmet to use on the ice because that was required. And so we let her pick out her own helmet at Target. And that cost, I wanna say it was $23, but it has not crossed our every dollar budget yet. 
Again, same situation. If it crosses in the next 24 hours, then it will stay in this budget. Otherwise, you will see it in next month's budget. And in the Mauricio category, we had two things show up. The first one is some gamer dork thing because Mauricio is a gamer dork and he loves it when I call him a gamer dork. He bought it online. I, I don't know. I think the game he plays, he wanted to buy some weapons for it. So it's virtual. And so he gave me a 20 and so he bought it. So technically this is a wash. This was his blow money. And then he bought something else for 359. I don't know what it was. He said it was a gaming thing that wasn't supposed to cross, but I haven't been reimbursed. So he's supposed to be working on that. We'll see. But by comparison to what I spent, it was all minor. In the Wendy category, we had a lot. The first item was $185.59 for my hair color, corrective color. So that was redonkulously expensive, but shockingly, I did it at a place that was probably about as cheap as it gets, if you can believe it. So I did tell her that I was not doing that every month. And in fact, I probably, if I can figure out how to tone my hair so it's not yellow all the time after like two weeks, then I must start doing it. The other thing was I bought two pairs of shoes. Um, they were cheap shoes. I desperately needed a pair of brick red shoes to go with like 18 outfits that I had because my old shoes were not appropriate anymore. And then my black flats had worn a hole in the bottom. Not even kidding. So I got a pair of black flats with that too. The cash category, I did a whole video on that. So if you wanna watch that, I'll link that up in the eye in the sky, but that was exactly what we expected. No surprises there. In recurring and annual fees, we had $30.97 for iTunes, $44.95 for Weight Watchers, $14.95 for Audible. We spent nothing on Skype and then $3.99 on Amazon Music. In my YouTube category, we had $4.50 for TubeBuddy, $5 for Backblaze, $3.43 for Morning Fame, $19.95 for a YouTube group I am involved in. If you saw my video two weeks ago where my light exploded, I did replace those, I replaced those lights and you buy them in sets of two, and they were $34.96 for the studio light bulbs, so I do have one on hand should that happen again. So that was okay. I wasn't excited about spending that money. The other two things we had were external hard drives. And I did talk about having to buy one and then having it not work and then returning it and having to buy a second one. So we have not gotten credited for that. But as soon as we do, that extra $110 will be going to debt. Medical. Yeah, medical. It's the category I love to hate. I'm glad I have medical insurance, but man, medical is expensive every month. I, it's a getting old thing, I guess. So this month I had the beginning of the year neck injections and my copay for my neck injections is always my deductible, my personal deductible of $350. I will get a bill in another month about $300 for the actual injections and that is my portion of it. So. This month's, the first neck injections of every year cost about $650, almost $700. I paid $90.29 for eye drops and I did put $100 in the budget for next month for eye drops because I'm tired of having to move numbers around and I'm gonna have to be buying those eye drops every month. Back a while ago when I went to the eye doctor and got new glasses, I ordered contacts. The contacts they gave me did not work. I could not even read my phone. So I had to go back to the eye doctor and that was all free, but the contacts they ended up giving me that actually worked where I could read my phone were $97 more a box than the previous. Yeah. Ugh. So I had to pay another $97 for contacts. I only bought one box for each eye and the plan is I'm gonna go to one of the companies online that has contacts for super cheap. We paid $50.91 at the doctor for a infection that Melina had. She, she got just a random cold, it was no big deal, but it just wouldn't go away and she was super congested. And the doctor said it was one of two things, either she had a sinus infection 
or she had this rando like strain of strep that's going around this year. It's in your throat, but your throat only hurts for a very short period of time. And then your ears hurt and your face hurts. So it's more sinal strep, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, she said the solution for both of those is antibiotics. And so we took her and that's where the $20 for antibiotics come in. We got her antibiotics and within 24 hours, she was a million times better. And in two days she was back to normal. And then Mauricio came down with it. So Mauricio's copay was $25 and then his medication was $42.96. Keep your fingers crossed that I don't get it. And in work expenses, we had nothing for parking and no work expenses this month. So that was pretty nice. And in our sinking funds, did you notice that Dave Ramsey did the little piggy bank for the sinking funds icon when you make it a fund? I haven't gotten the funds to work on every dollar, but I'm going to try them out. It seems like they've done an upgrade. So I'm going to try them out again next month to see if I can get them to work. So our sinking funds were the standard sinking funds we have every month. $150 for medical, $100 for car repair and replace, $100 for Christmas, $50 for emergency trip to Columbia, $25 for miscellaneous school expenses for Melly, $100 for summer camp, $100 for work travel expenses, and $100 for our 10th wedding anniversary this summer. In my Amazon category, I already went over what we bought for Melina for, val for Valentine's Day. I already went over what the Easter Bunny is bringing Melina for Valentine's Day. God, what is with me and Valentine's Day? Easter in the YouTube category had the studio lights. But the only thing I actually bought unplanned on Amazon this month was a yogurt starter. For my birthday this month, my cousin gave me an Instapot. I've been talking about getting an Instapot for months months, years even. I have wanted one for so long. And I was telling my mother how I can finally make yogurt in the Instapot because right now the yogurt I make pretty much every two weeks. I make it in the oven and I'm having trouble regulating the temperature so it takes a lot longer than it normally should. And so I thought I would try it out in the Instapot and I was reading a blog on how to do it and one of the cool things is that it link it suggested using yogurt starters. Now, normally I just use a scoop of the yogurt from the previous yogurt and that's, you know, free, but these yogurt cultures, they have a couple of different strains of cultures. They have like the heirloom strain, which is a different flavor than like the Greek strain, which is a different flavor than Bulgarian yogurt. What's Bulgarian yogurt taste like? I don't know. But anyway, they had one strain that really appealed to me. And I love Greek yogurt. Don't get me wrong. I love Greek yogurt. But one thing I love about homemade yogurt is it's really mild. And they had one that's called extra mild. So I thought I would get it and try it out and see if if it's actually different from like what I'm making now. The best part about it is I never have to worry like... So many times I have killed my yogurt culture and then had to run off to the store to get a starter sample of yogurt. This way I'll have it in a little packet. I think you keep it in the freezer. I haven't actually used it yet, but um, I'll never have to worry about not having a starter available. So I'm excited to try it. I still have maybe another week's worth of yogurt before I can try it. So I'm excited to try the Instapot yogurt. And then in our cushion category, we spent $5.04 because Mauricio decided he needed Starbucks. I had literally just said, hey, honey, do you want some cash? Because I knew he was going to Starbucks. And I was going to give him some cash out of the family fund money. And he said, no, no, it's okay. And then on Tuesday... There was a transaction at Starbucks. So oh, I picked up the phone. I was like, Mauricio, what did you do? And he was like, yeah, I thought I had cash. I didn't. That's why we have the cushion category. And then Mauricio went to Chipotle for lunch and again, thought he had cash in his wallet and did not. And that was $10 and 71 cents. And then the last one is on Audible. I get one credit on Audible every month, which I use for my book club book. But Melina, Melina has Alexa in her bedroom 
And she has the Descendants book that she's reading, which, by the way, is like a sixth grade level. Why my daughter feels compelled to read a sixth grade level book, I don't know. But anyway, I thought it'd be a little bit easier for her if we bought the book on Audible and she read along. And she is loving doing that. So we went ahead and bought it because it's all about the Descendants in my house. So the cushion category was a grand total of $27.98, which is pretty dang amazing for us. So you can see throughout our budget where we were able to pull from various categories and total up close, pretty dang close to $500. And then I did a video where I talked about how much we put to debt. It was pretty spectacular. We put $14,790 and 75 cents. And I was so impressed with us. It was, I mean, mind blowing for us to be able to put that much to debt. And we were super excited, super excited. We were super excited to do it. I legitimately can't tell you how shocked I am at how far we've come in a year. This time last year, Mauricio was working side hustle jobs. He didn't have a career job. We were, you know, just trudging along, but really not making much in the way of headway. Mauricio got a career job and we started trucking. Last year at this time, we had a $2,500 tax bill. I will tell you that I have gotten my tax back and we are going to get tax money back this year. I don't know when it'll come, so I'm not gonna include it in the budget until we actually have it in hand, but I overcompensated. Because we owed so much last year, I didn't want that to happen again, and so I overcompensated, so we're getting a, a good chunk of money back. So. While fiscally not responsible, you should never overpay. It's nice to, you know, have a chunk of change to throw at debt soon. Mama wants to get your hair out of your eyes. I don't care about my hair. I know you don't care, but mommy cares about your hair okay. and your chocolate face. So what did you do today, Melina? Went to the thread egg hunt and then went shopping. Where did we go shopping? Target. What did we get at the shopping? Um, a Mario toothbrush. Yes, you did get a new Mario toothbrush. And some, some cool toothpaste. And? And a helmet and some stuff that I'm not the to use. And a football egg. Pew! This white bunny. And I got a um green bunny. Um, here's my jewelry. Yeah, don't drop it. I'll try not to. So, I'll see you in the next one. See ya!